right. Here we are. We're taking a look at our uh, <clears throat> Mesa Luna project that we uh, completed a couple weeks ago. Not for nothing but any sharp instrument, uh, especially something that is razor sharp, like this Mesa Luna, really should have a sheath to store it in, you know, for a couple of reasons, you know, for safety, obviously, uh, but also to protect the blade. <clears throat> we are going to make a custom one-off sheath for a Mesa Luna. And we're going to make that out of a piece of cowhide. I think it'll go quite well with our uh, our antique uh, single blade Mesa Luna. Okay. And to help us with this project, we're going to be utilizing our leather stitching machine. Okay, uh, which we have mounted, this was a uh, separate video, which we have mounted on our custom um, platform. Okay, got a little drawer here, our little doodads. And uh, if you watched the video on this, you know that we've got a 25-pound uh, like billet inside this box to make this a solid platform. Okay, but while keeping it mobile, so we can move this around, you know, wherever we feel like working. You know, if it's a situation where maybe it's really nice outside, we could just pop it outside on the uh, on the table and enjoy the weather and work on the project, you know. So, uh, that's it. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to continue to see uh, restoration videos and, and leather-related uh Craft videos. Also, uh, we have a uh, domain name that we purchased to make it easier to find us. There it is. Five star resto dot com. All right. That'll get you to us. So easy to remember. Five star resto.com. That will get you to our YouTube restoration channel. Okay, so we are going to start by cutting a piece of leather this size. All right, we want to make sure we have enough. Uh, don't cut yourself short. Okay, so we've got the piece of leather cut out. We've got the Mesa Luna placed where we want it. Okay, so we got the basic template cut out here. Uh, now I want to want to cut out for the for the strap. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stitch right on the line that we drew.
Okay, so we got a we got a nice a nice stitch. What we're gonna do is at this point is we're just gonna remove the uh, the staples that we uh, we use to hold this in place. Okay, so now to remove the staples, we're gonna follow this up with a second row. Okay, I'm gonna turn this turn this foot around. That way we can feed it from the front. Okay. Be a little bit easier for us. Just gonna lift up the foot, and we're just gonna backtrack a couple rotations. Now we're going to sew, stitch all the way around the back. Okay? Yeah. Just gonna hit all the loose ends with a lighter. All right, we're gonna finish this up with some black edge coat. Alright, there it is. 
So we hit it uh, with some uh, edge coat. Pretty nice. See the stitching on the machine. Went all the way around. Yeah, I like it. There you go. Nice little sheath. Okay, this just fits right in there nicely. And we just snap it. Nice little, nice little unit. So really, with this machine, you can you can do you can do some nice little projects. You know, I mean, this took us about I don't know, maybe half hour. You know, start to finish, maybe 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 forty minutes. I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't very long at all. Okay, uh, trust me when I tell you. Um, you know, speaking from experience, many many pro projects, stitching by hand. Um, yeah, I mean, there's certain situations where you, you need to stitch by hand, but in this particular case, or projects like this, or quite a few projects, the, uh, the hand crank, uh, stitching machine just, like, works perfectly. I mean, you could see the stitch came out really, really nice, Okay. Really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. Okay. The back. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. So you can do your own project with your machine and uh, have a nice, uh, you know, a nice, um, nice item. For literally pennies. I mean, um, this was a scrap piece of leather from another project. Pretty much didn't cost us anything. There you go.